Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for game week 37 where we look at what my plans are for the double game week but before we do that let's see what happened in game week 36. So I'd like to start by seeing who the top scorer was in the Midnight Mule mini league for the previous week and in game week 36 it was Camario Jackman with Santa Cruz FC with a rather impressive 139 points. That was with Harlan 21 Isaac 14, Jackson 16, Regulon 8, Palmer 8, Gabrielle 7, White 6, Gordon 6, Sun 7, Foden 5. And a bench boost with Petrovic 6, Elise 16, Richard 11 and Gvardiel 6. So very impressive and well done for bench boosting when most people were not bench boosting. I think that's very good. And top of our league is still Ziad Brahman with TN Guna. They managed 97 points. That was with Captain Harlan, 42. And then Palmer, 8. Isaac, 7. Sun, 7. Gabrielle, 7. Gordon, 6. Gvardiel, 6. Raya, 6. And Foden, 5. And then nothing on the bench that would have made any difference. As for me, I'm down in 116th. I managed 100 points. That was Captain Harlan, 42. Robertson, 13. Palmer, 8. Isaac 7, Gordon 6, White 6, Petrovic 6, Foden 5, Havertz 5. And then on my bench, nothing, albeit two of those weren't even playing anyway. So a little green arrow for me, so that's nice. And I'm currently 325 from top spot. So if I can get 163 points more than the top player in the next two game weeks, each game week, I'll win the whole thing. So that's nice. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos. It is appreciated. So the cup, we've been watching Pranav Rane recently of Action Jackson and they were drawn against Marcin Dogonski with Mardog. And it was Marcin Dogonski who got the better score with 108. And that was managed with Captain Harlan 42, Jackson 16, Palmer 8, Sun 7, Gabrielle 7, Isaac 7, Gordon 6, White 6 and Foden 5. So very nice. And then on the bench, Petrovic was the only one that could have been played differently for a few more points. But it didn't matter because they got through anyway. So we'll be watching Marston for next week. See who wins the semi-final. For the fantasy challenge, Lucy Hyams now won it three game weeks in a row. So well done. We should maybe rename this whole thing the Lucy Hyams segment. So her team is Snap, Crackle and Pope with 177 points. That was with Harlan 37, Captain Palmer 32... Salah 25, Brereton Diaz 16, Robertson 17, Isaac 15, Gabriel 9, White 8. And then on the bench, the only player is Archer for 8, I guess. And if you look at the FPL Game Week website, you can look at Content Creator, see how you'd be doing. So Ben Crellin's currently top. And so in third place is FPL Fran. Harry's down in fourth. I'd be all the way down in 56th, which is a little bit higher than Holly. Some of you might be aware of her but is now below FPL Heisenberg a little bit lower than Nymphria and a bit lower than FPL mate too. Regarding my plans for game week 37 I've got one free transfer and I don't have a bench boost so I've only got to get 11 decent players out. So my current plan is probably eight and Nori swapping for Gvardio however if we find out Trippier is not going to be playing or probably not playing then I may do Trippier instead to Gvardio. But the latest news that I've seen with Trippier is he is in full team training. There's a chance he'd appear in the Brighton game. Otherwise, the Man United game's looking more likely. So I've not decided yet. Um, if the deadline was tonight, I would probably do eight and Nori because Trippier's looking quite positive at the moment. And then I could do a second transfer or do this instead. I could do Bruno to KDB. That would have to be instead because I already have two Man City players. But I may do as well Bruno to Conor Gallagher, but that would be if we find out Bruno's not playing because he's injured or he's likely not playing. So assuming I do the first one, which is eight Nori to Gvardio, my team for game week 37 would be Haaland away to Fulham and Tottenham. So he'd get to wear the old mule hat and he'd have the triple captain chip on him which are hopefully soften the blow from not having the bench boost because loads of managers around my rank would be bench boosting and getting another 
15 to 20 points probably. And then his mates, Gvardio and Foden. And then the vice would be on Izak at home to Brighton away to Man United with his mates Gordon and Trippier. And then have Fernandez at home to Arsenal and Newcastle with his mates Dallow and Hoyland. And if I was setting this team up now, I probably wouldn't get any Man United players. But that's who I've got in my team, so I'm just going to have to play them. And then in goal, I've got Petrovic away to Forest and away to Brighton with his mate Palmer. And then on the bench, I would have Pickford at home to Sheffield United, Havertz away to Man United, White away to Man United and Robertson away to Villa. So I I do get 15 doublers, but that's including Trippier and Bruno and we don't know they're playing. And also United haven't been great and I've got another two United players. So I am expecting a red arrow this game week, but you never know, I could get lucky. As for the background picture, if you watch this channel, you'll know that Pompey's my team, but my second team is Leicester. And the reason for that is we lived just outside Leicester for a couple of years. We used to go to Filbert Street and watch Leicester play. That was in the days of Muzzy, is it, and Neil Lennon. I think Martin O'Neill was the manager. Anyway, so they've just been promoted from the championship. And of course, Leicester are known as the Foxes. And surely their talisman is Jamie Vardy. And he'd be 30 this year. And he still smokes and he's still an incredibly good footballer. So here we have a fox with a cigarette. So there we have it. That's my plans for game week 37 and what happened in game week 36. Although I'm not bench boosting, so expecting a red arrow, I think I'm quite nicely set up with my players for game week 38. But I guess we'll find out in a week and a half's time how that went. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a good game week 37. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>